Number forty-four and forty-five. 다음을 읽고 물음에 답하십시오. You can read the paragraph and answer. 추상 활동이란 어떤 대상의 특성을 뽑아내어 파악하는 활동이다. The activity of abstract uh, is in a to uh, find out the special trait of the object. That's the process of you know, making something abstract stuff or painting. It could be. And 이러한 추상 활동은 피카소의 창작 과정을 통해 쉽게 이해할 수 있다. So in fact, the 추상 활동 itself is not easy to understand because something abstract means not concrete, not clear, not that much plain to understand. Something above than that. So here the second uh, sentence gives in the ship ge ye hasu ita means you can understand easily through the process of an uh, uh, art and the process of uh, an activity of in a Picasso. Actually, Picasso is a very famous an artist, and, and he did a lot of uh, uh, kind of activity of an you know, abstract something abstract, not that. Plain or concrete. So Picasso uh, here the second sentence and gives an explanation about Picasso. His uh, an activity is uh, much more related in you know, with uh, uh, abstract activity. So let's see the third sentence. Picasso는 황소 연장물을 시작했을 때 제일 먼저 황소의 모습을 주의 깊게 살펴보고 이를 바탕으로 그 외관의 특징을 아주 사실적으로 묘사했다. So actually in this sentence and gives the one example of what Picasso did to make a, uh, his an abstract activity. So actually one of his uh, masterpiece is uh, the bull. Actually that it, in this in the paragraph gives the idea that the bull is the series of his uh, paintings maybe. And then, 제일 먼저 황소의 모습을 주의 깊게 살펴보고. So when he started in drawing in the bull for the first time, and then what he did for the first time, the the beginning is he observed, he just watched what uh, the bull looks like. So that's the beginning of. Uh, uh, doing some abstract and activity even though that's not concrete and not simple one but the beginning you should you know, look at the real object and then it will patangro based on that and so based on the, the reality based on that the concrete object and then you can uh, describe and you can start describing uh, that object and clearly and then let's, uh, let's continue 그러다가 평면의 가장자리와 모서리가 황소의 특징을 잘 드러낸다는 것을 깨닫고 간단한 외곽선 몇 개로 황소를 그렸다. And then the second step is, okay, here, first step was an observing, observation of the uh, object, right? And then the second step was, and then he realized that even if that's a, a concrete uh, object, but when you put in the, some lines in the corner uh, uh, lines, then uh, he realized that it gives in a clear idea of uh, the special traits of the bull. And then he started in using only that you know, outlines, only the outline of the lines or the corner lines and to describe the bull. Not specifically just drawing all the details of bull he just started using some outlines and some lines or corner lines and then he started in you know, to draw and bull and then the third step is here gives the idea 그리고 마지막에 가서는 at the end 황소의 몸을 이루는 요소들을 대부분 제거하고 머리의 특징을 잡아내어 강조했다 so and then uh, the third step is then he just uh, removed all the detailed parts of uh, the drawing of bull and then he just in you know, a catch up he just emphasized 
only the special trait of the bull's uh, the head because in the bull has you know, some horns on his head so it, it's the most uh, uh, special uh, uh, parts of uh, the bull uh, which is different from other animals so he just uh, uh, realized that at the end it's so not only just drawing all of them through some lines and kind of simplified in the lines and he could draw that one so and then let's see the last part 이 그림은 몸을 이루는 요소가 과도하게 사라졌음에도 시체를 토대로 했기 때문에 황소 다음의 본질을 잘 보여준다. Here, 실체 means a reality. So, and then let's see this in a sentence in detail. 이 그림은 means in a death in a 황소, death in the bull, the painting. Uh, shows that, explains that even if... Uh, it doesn't have any all the details of the bulls, but it's based on the reality, based on the the on the the special traits of the bull uh, from the real bull. So that's why 했기 때문에 실체를 토대로 했기 때문에 this is a very important part. So what's the reason? What's the reason it gives a lot of an explanation about this one? Because it's based on the reality, the real bull. Can you remember in the in the uh, middle of this paragraph, and Picasso has started watching out, observing the uh, the feature of the bull. So he he didn't start it only just in his either imaginary lines. He first uh, watched the feature of the bull. He observed it, and then he got an idea what kind of and the lines and what kind of drawing he can use and to emphasize the uh, feature of the bull. So in the here, important thing is that 실체를 토대로 했기 때문에 based on the reality of the bull, 황소 다음의 본질을 잘 보여준다. That painting could show the uh, essential part of you know, being a bull. So that's the, exactly the meaning. So, 이처럼, so next uh, sentence is, 이처럼 추상 활동의 결과물은, then, 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 and you have to and uh, fill the brackets, and 대상의 특징을 포착하는 데서 얻어진다. So actually the meaning of this sentence is, the result of an you know, uh, uh, abstract activity can be uh, obtained in the from uh, taking out or taking uh, taking up some special and feature of the object. Maybe in a, we have to add and the words in which it can be fit into the brackets. So uh, this is actually the the parts of uh, the, this in a paragraph, the meaning of this a paragraph about the abstract and activity. So and shall we see in the questions in a, uh, number 44. 이 글의 주제로 알맞은 것을 고르십시오. Yeah, this is a very common uh, question of uh, the topic and the theme of uh, this uh, the paragraph. What is the main idea of this uh, paragraph? So we should uh, choose. So let's see number one. 추상 활동은 관찰을 바탕으로 대상을 이해하는 것이다. So 이해하다 means understand. So 바탕으로 means based on. So 관찰 means an uh, observation. So actually 추상 활동 we just repeatedly we mentioned here abstract and activity. Something not concrete but uh, abstract and activity. So here abstract activity is kind of an observation based on uh, yeah it's in a based on a uh, observation and then you can understand the object so it seems like in a very much in uh, matching and with uh, these in a paragraph because we mentioned in many times about the first step of uh, 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 abstract activity is in a to uh, observe in a to look at the object right so in the to understand the uh, even the result of abstract activity is uh, maybe a, a bit different from the real the object but the starting point is in the to observe to watch and look at 
the real object. And then they can uh, take some processes of uh, and removing or deleting some parts of the real object. And then, but still it can show the, the essential part of that object. I think that's uh, the main part of uh, this an abstracting activity. So it seems like number one is very much matching with this paragraph. But let's continue. Number two, 추상 활동은 외관의 세부적 기술에서 시작되는 것이다. Here it says 세부적 기술 means something very detailed and technique, but nothing mentioned here detailed and techniques like that. So it's, it, it cannot be an answer. Okay, 3번, 추상 활동의 단계는 추상화의 창작 과정에 잘 드러난다. So it seems like in a, uh, much similar with uh, in a, this uh, with the, what the main idea of in a, this in a sentence, but he, he, this paragraph in a, didn't much focus on the old uh, the processes of uh, the abstract in, uh, the painting. Here mentioned about the uh, the abstract in a painting, 추상화의 uh, 창작 과정. The, the creative and the process of uh, uh, abstract in a painting. Uh, yeah, it's true that each uh, the uh, abstract in a painting shows and gives an idea about the creative uh, uh, the ideas of that. But here, uh, if I can compare with number one and number three, but rather than focusing on creativity, is in a more than focus uh, more than that it's a focus on the observation observation of uh, the object the real object so it seems like a number one is uh, more uh, the correct uh, than in a number three as an answer so i i would like to in a say number one is the answer so and the number four is is not related at all because it says in 추상 활동의 결과에는 대상의 새로운 측면이 드러난다. 새로운 측면 means something new. Okay, new parts of the uh, the object, but actually that's not the exactly what uh, abstract activity in a means because it's very much based on the real uh, the feature, the real and the parts of uh, the object. So the answer should be number one. 추상 활동은 관찰을 바탕으로 대상을 이해하는 것이다. Okay, then let's move to in a number 45. Uh, the bracket, uh, the 괄호에 들어갈 내용으로 가장 알맞은 것을 고르십시오. Okay, actually that is kind of fill in the blank. Okay, that is not blank though, it's a bracket. You have to in the field. Which in uh, the uh, words could be the most uh, appropriate in the, to fill this in the bracket. So actually, it, see, you know, this is the ending part of this paragraph. And when you read the paragraph, and actually the beginning and the end of the paragraph is the most important part and to catch the main idea and also what is the, uh, uh, the, uh, the idea that this paragraph want us to know. Okay. So now one more time, let me read that, that question. 이처럼 추상 활동의 결과물은, as I said, and the 결과물 means the result of uh, abstract activity, is uh, through what? And 대상의 특징을 포착하는 데에서 얻어진다. So the, we can get an idea or the result of uh, abstract and activity can be obtained by what kind of activity, by what kind of uh, the process it can be done. So we should uh, think about that uh, the method of uh, the, to make a, a better uh, abstract and activity in the result. So here, the number one, 본질의 외국을 통해서 Actually, this is the opposite. 본질 means the essential part of the object, and 외국 means twist, actually distort. And the distort and changing the, uh, the essential part of uh, the, the real object. No, it's totally different. It's not uh, this paragraph is the same. Because this paragraph is saying that you should start on observation of the object. Uh, yeah. So in, it's not uh, the correct. In the number two, 실체의 강조를 통해서. So 실체 means the real, the object. 에 강조를 통해서. 강조 means emphasis and emphasizing that one. 
but actually here uh, maybe somebody can say that but it did nothing uh, they mentioned uh, like this in a 강조를 실체의 강조를 통해서 only no shall we see in a number three 형태적 단순화를 통해서 so 형태적 단순화 단순화 means simplifying simplifying and the feature or or the outfit of the object so in, a, in the you can you know just it gives in the the ring the bell. So actually, 형태적 단순화. First, can you remember three parts of uh, uh, abstract activity? First, you have to uh, watch and observe. And then second, you have to find out what is the special feature of the object. And the third part is you should remove all the detailed parts, but only uh, you should uh, uh, have in the very essential parts and in the special parts, and you should uh, have that remained. So here it means in the rather than emphasizing, it's a simplify uh, that uh, the f uh, the object of uh, any kind of stuff. So and it seems like a number three is can be a correct answer. Okay, number four, the 사실적 묘사법을 통해서, 사실적 묘사법, 묘사법 means in the way of, the method of describing, describing the reality. But actually this in abstract activity starts, uh, it, it starts in a based on the reality, the real feature of the object, but later on they are uh, taking some processes of simplifying. So, 사실적 묘사법을 통해서 only in a by drawing the reality in the real object and we cannot make a uh, 추상활동. So, it can't be an answer. So, the correct answer is number three. 3번, 형태적 단순화를 통해서. So, 통해 means through. So, by the method, by in a simplifying the uh, object the uh, outlook or the yeah, appearance of the object. That could be the correct answer.